All right, guys, today we're at the Mountain View Lodge here, and we're going to be exploring it, explaining a little bit of the history to it. See, it used to be a Holiday Inn back a long time ago. I couldn't find any exact info on that. It was bought out by a private investor that then turned it into Mountain View Lodge. Around 2010, it closed down, and it became this beautiful, beautiful little thing, pan around, you know, this, this beautiful building we have now. That's a badass pan. In <laughs> 2015, there was a big fire that happened late at night. Presumably by an arsonist. Could have been a meth lab. No one really knows. We never got an answer. It was a fire at an abandoned building. No one really cared about it. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, so we're going to be walking through it today. Exploring it, seeing what's left, seeing how much nature took it over seeing if we can find any homeless people which you know would be cool if they're nice if they're mean homeless people i don't, I don't want to see mean homeless people because they're i don't want to get stabbed you want to get stabbed we ain't getting stabbed we ain't getting stabbed we got this Still works? Yeah, it works. Alright, we're in the lobby. This would be the main entrance to the building. I guess the receptionist and everyone would be over here. Turn the light on here. Go behind here. See if we can find any hidden treasures. So we're behind the receptionist desk. <laughs> What's this? Is it a card? So much stuff is damaged by the fire. party room or something. This is what you can reserve with a rake. Let's go see what's in here. I believe this takes us to the bar area, which is where I would be. place used to look so pretty before all the shit happened. I don't know if it closed down due to lack of funding or what it may have been. It was just a really pretty place back in the day when it was open. I remember going here a couple times as a kid. It was really pretty. Want to go in the freezer? What? 
I'm going in the freezer. <laughs> Please don't be a dead body. Why would you want there to be a dead body? So this is where the magic would happen, guys. Fuck you. Guys, I think I found the the rental room, the party room, cafeteria, whatever it may be. This place is pretty nice looking. So my bet is gonna be this is probably the cafeteria. Looks like a cafeteria to me. They tried. Guys, I found something nasty. Is it shit? I found a wad of hair with nails and screws in it. That's beautiful. That's pretty fucked up. I don't even want to ask what or where that came from. It came from somebody's head, you silly. So here's the side, side of the lobby here. Into the really scary hallway. Looks like the portal to hell. You guys ready to go to hell? This is probably the area where you should not breed stuff in. Oh, it's beautiful at night time, dude. This is definitely where it all happened. My bathtub looks sick. And I would almost guarantee that tile has not always been black. But it is now. I guess this is just like another little con concession room. This place has really went to hell. It's only been closed down for well, it's been eight years. It's quite a quite a while, I guess. There's the pool. We'll go swimming here in a minute. Hey, money! That's fresh money. That's my money. Did you eat ass for free? I really do. Man, for being such a big place, they don't really have many washing machines. Two washing machines, that's it. Looks like an iron lung more than it does like a dryer. It's old. Let's see where this leads. I guess this is like the maintenance room. Hey guys, Trump's been here. You can see a little orange smeared on the wall where he fell. <laughs> hey, it's funny. That was pretty good, actually. Guys, come on now. This, this, is, this wasn't here. Yeah, it was. I kicked it. Well, I'm, I'm heavily disappointed. Oh my god, look at this. There's literally blood everywhere over here. Holy shit. I don't know if somebody fell or what. There's blood everywhere. Holy shit, look on the ground. We're gonna go upstairs now. This is where the fire actually happened. Room 
is pitch black. Someone put a bed here to use it as a ladder to get up here. Let's go down the hallway. So they have been two cases where people's died here. One's been while it was open and the other was after it closed down. There was a man who rented a room here, I, I want to say back in like 08, 07, which may have contributed to the downfall of this place. He actually shot himself in the room and we will be going to the exact room where he shot himself at. The whole history of this place, you can look up any YouTube videos on this place. There's so much history of like paranormal stuff. I've never had anything happen here, but there's so many, so many stories of people finding things here, finding shadow people all that stuff i'm not here for the ghost i'm here to explore if i find it i find it but it's not why i'm here so this is the back side of the building where the majority of the people are reported to stay at it looked like somebody was living in here oh wow it looked a lot different last time way more destroyed this whole room was set up See, they got only one window here, and the rest is completely condensed in. If you hear me scream, it just means I was ate by a homeless guy. What? Protection. I'm ready, guys. I'm all alone. I got all the protection I could ever need. If I see a homeless man, I'm gonna throw this knife at them and run as fast as I can. is destroyed man I mean eight years is a long time but I don't know how a place got this destroyed in eight years really should have found that respirator here we are the rumors of room 265 which is apparently where this happened I got my trusty death machine ready to punch a homeless guy in the face with it Just like a normal room. What the fuck? Hang on a minute. What? It's a big pile of feathers. It's creepy. You dare me? Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. Fucking boss. Oh, shit. Please don't let there be a homeless guy behind this couch. Hello? Okay. That, that would have not been good. So we're right by the road here. All the way at the end of the building. You can get a good view of the whole place here. I really don't like standing beside of windows. Look at this. There's a whole bed here. Shut up, man. Here's how we can tell someone's lived here. Toilet test, here we go. That is 100% poop. I believe this takes us back downstairs. Storage.
Why not? It's a pretty normal reel. Cause I don't want to go in there. Yeah, see in there. That's completely boarded up windows. Chair holds it up. Someone did not want someone to be in here. Hello? Hello? Anybody in here? See, I don't want anyone to say hello back. That's the least thing I want. Dude, what the hell? What the fuck? Oh god, this room smells like nothing but piss. Covert my mouth. Dude, there's toys everywhere in this room. Oh my god. Has somebody actually been living here with their kids? That is sick. Not in a good way either. This room does not feel right. I'm getting the fuck out of this room right now. I am not about this. See, that's that room I was in that I swear somebody was living in up, st up top here. It's completely closed off. Not the pool. Well, guys, it's sad to say, I don't think we're going to be able to swim. Dude, this place is great. And there's always that one ominous ball floating in the water. It was really fun exploring the place with you guys. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments. Let me know what your favorite moment of the video was. Let me know what you would like to see more of, what you'd like to see less of. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Later.